Good morning. It's Wednesday again, and we're back in the studio. We are. Yes. Well, and Come you know on. what? After 11 inches of snow on Wednesday <laughs> during our show in Lancaster, it's it's good to be home. Uh, but you know what? We had a great time. Those quilters still came. You know, they're they're dyed in the wool quilters. They're going right. to come oh, to that yeah. show no matter what. Little snow that's is right. not going to keep anybody <laughs> no, away. That's right. And in fact, the first day we had two buses from Canada and one bus from Northern Vermont, and they're used to driving in that snow, so it mm -hmm. didn't stop them one lick. Good. That is fantastic. Glad to hear. Yes. All right. Well, we have some fun stuff to talk about today. We, we do. do. We have a fun little quilt back here with lots of little half square triangles. And this is called Spin the Triangle, and it is by Sam Hunter. She's the one who designed it. And we offer this kit at shopaqs.com and three different sizes. You can get it 39 inch, so it's a perfect little baby quilt, or 75 by 75, which is a wonderful throw size for like the back of your sofa, mm -hmm. or 111 by 111, so that would even fit on a king size bed. King oh, size, would. that's a big size. Yes, yes. I have to tell you, that's making a lot of little triangles too, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> yeah, that's why you get your speedy methods. Yes. That's right. That's, that's right. right. Well, it's a pretty quilt, and you know what? It's, it still amazes me how many designs use half square triangles. Oh, mm -hmm. you can just quilt forever. That's right. You Definitely. can make a whole career of just half square triangles. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know say. you've done some surveys again, so I have. tell us. Yes, so we just surveyed and asked people about cleaning. And how, whenever you're in your studio and you've got all your crafty equipment and your tools, how you clean it. And you know the number one thing that they said they always clean, they clean the most frequently, and they don't know how to clean is their sewing machine. Oh. Of course, that's number one. Yes. But then there were all sorts of tools. And so scissors, rulers, you name it, they wanted to know how to clean it. And we have lots of really great tips on aqsblog.com. And did you girls bring me some tips today? Yes, yes. I have, I have tips about rulers and templates. Wonderful. Uh, because I, I, you probably can't see it right here, but if I pick up this and you were here with me, you would see that there are fingerprints all over Everywhere. this and uh, little smudges and everything. Plus, whenever you use rulers and templates, sometimes you get chalk on them or pencils rub off, depending on what you're doing. So I looked up the best way to clean your templates and your rulers. Now, I think the number one thing is that most of these items are made with, uh, made of acrylic. And acrylic is something that you don't want to approach with ammonia. And guess what has ammonia in it that you maybe don't think about when you're picking up your rag to wipe? What would that be? Windex. Win yeah, Windex. Windex. Oh Windex. Oh my God. Sure, window, window cleaner, window cleaner has ammonia, and that is one of the main scratching elements. Wow. And any, any kind of thing that it will scratch your acrylic, you don't, don't want to use. So there, you can either use you know, a light, a mild soap and water, of course, mm -hmm. or you can use uh, something that is called uh, PlexiClean. Oh, wonderful. Is what I uh, had heard yeah. what, that was greatly recommended. Another thing is you don't want to rub too hard because there, these marks can come off, you know, your, your inch marks and stuff. Yeah, so, there's some yeah. kind of paint that they put on yeah, the backside, so, so you, you do know, have to be careful of that. Be aware that you could rub that right off and, mm -hmm. and there goes your ruler. Um, another thing is, uh, always use a soft cloth and not a paper towel because a paper towel will oh. also scratch. Oh. It's yeah, wood. a wood product. It's wood. That's right. Mm -hmm. It's a wood product. That makes complete sense. Um, Those are great tips. I think another good tip about rulers is to keep them out of the sun, you know, oh, yes. so that they don't warp and to, whenever you store them, store them in a place that's... Uh, you know, like don't don't have uh, books laying on one end and oh. the other end up in the air. You know, uh, you want to never you want to keep it. Studio. Yeah, oh, no. I know there are a lot of studios that are perfect, but many uh, in many situations we just toss them to the side and they can very easily get warped. Well, so. in storing them, you know, when I did my sewing room in this house. I added one of those narrow little cabinets that's only, I don't know, maybe nine oh, inches so wide smart. that has an upright divider. And normally you would use it for baking pans. Mm -hmm. Right. It works great right. for that templates and rooms. Right. Because that it be keeps really them good. all upright and they're out of the out of the heat and the light. I think and, some of our vendors have actual little really pretty products that you can, some wooden, you can they buy have for your studios wooden. for for little wooden ones. Sure. Yes. 
All right. Yeah. Well, okay, so I'm going to talk about cleaning your scissors. Oh, wonderful. Now, I had to do this. You know, this is from experience I'm speaking. That, that's um, our best teacher. Isn't when, it, I, <laughs> when I did that rain cape for uh -huh. the upcycled fashion show, I wanted to put something on to hold the zipper in place. So what I did was I took a, a two-sided um, tape and I took this pair of scissors oh. and I cut it in half. Well, by the time I finished, uh, however, what was that, like 40 inches? Yes. I had the worst gunk on my scissors, so I had to clean them. And, of course, anything that's a gluey thing, whether it's this kind of stuff or taking tags off of different uh -huh. products, right. Goo Gone is the go-to thing. Now, I just went under my cupboard, and this was there, and it's probably a lifetime supply. <laughs> it comes Bonnie in. doesn't use it very often, but when she does, it's there. It, it's there, and, and it comes in many smaller sizes, so you wouldn't have to buy this whole big uh, container of it. But it works really good to clean that. And so then, so do as I say and not as I do, um, Havels makes scissors that are Teflon-coated. Oh, and these are made specifically oh, so for this kind of cutting or if you're using fusibles, which mm -hmm. sometimes yes. gunk up your scissors. Sure, they can. Uh, and these have kind of a serrated edge. And so when I, when I just move that back and forth, you can hear it almost. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's um, but anyway, it would not stick to this the way it stuck to my scissors. Yes. So if you're going to be doing cutting gluey things, recommend the the Teflon coated scissors. Or a big bottle of Goo Gone. <laughs> yes. And a lot of Either one. soaking. Right. Either one. Well, and you know what? I did have to, I, I put the Goo Gone on here and just kind of sprayed it on there and let it sit on both sides. And then if I let it sit for a while, I could come back and I could just wipe, right just off. wipe mm -hmm. it right off. Right. Yes. That's, That's good. Yes. Anyway, so we always learn, don't we? Usually we by do. doing. We sure do. <laughs> Well, on the blog also, we have the countdown to the Paducah. Did you girls know we only have 21 days left until I bet Bonnie knows. Paducah? Yes. Yes. Woo! Yes. Yeah. <laughs> that means something completely different to us than it does to you. <laughs> it does. We're going to work hard. <laughs> but we're very excited. We're so excited. And so to count down, we've been counting down with quilt blocks because, of course, that's what quilters do. And so we're, we're counting our way down, and we started 35 days out, and then we have a bonus block, so you end up with a whole quilt. <laughs> so 36 blocks total, and we're on block 15. It's so fun to watch what people have done. Yes. The color schemes they're using is really oh, fun. So, so if beautiful. you haven't been on our Facebook page, yes. and what's that called on Facebook? Um, that one is the Project Parade. It's okay. The, it's our Facebook group. Okay. Uh, go there, there and look. Go there oh, and look at the different color schemes people so have used because they're really unique and pretty. Yes, and anybody can start at any time. You're welcome to jump right in. And um, it's great because everybody's working on them to get tips and ideas for how you want to do yours. Mm -hmm. And we have it available in two sizes. For the free at aqsblog.com, we have 8-inch blocks. And then if you're an AQS member and the member only, from the homepage, you can access 16 inch blocks if you want to do them larger. And if you want to do just like one big one. Oh, even. you could. Pillows would be really cute. Right. Or the center, of a, a center mm -hmm. of a quilt for a, a medallion quilt. A medallion sure, quilt. And we've been so talking pretty. about those too. Yes, we have. <laughs> we just finished nice. up our medallion project this month and it's amazing. Oh, yes. that's wonderful. Yes. You know, well, another thing that's coming up that I'm super excited oh about oh. is that uh, pretty soon, within the next week or two, uh, you'll be receiving your next issue of American Quilter, and that'll be the May issue. We are featuring uh, a pattern this time from Victoria Finley Wolf, which is really cute. Oh, wow. That is not the one on the cover. The one on the cover is uh, one of the second place winners from the uh, Daytona Beach Quilt Week. Uh, it is by Peggy Marcourt. Uh, but we have Sweet Spring by Victoria Finley Wolf. We've got the last part of Gatherings. That's Kimberly Einmo's latest series quilt. Um, and we also have a new pattern by Stacy Day, Stars of the Show, that features Tula Pink's All Stars fabric. Oh, and it's so cute. So um, it's, it's really, it's a very fun issue. 
had and fun. And all kinds of quilts too. Lots and lots of quilts from Daytona Beach. Yes. Yeah. Fun. Okay. Well, you know, we said we're working on Paducah. So here are just a few things having to do with Paducah. First of all, we just, Alan and I just drove around town and did a video about parking. And one of the things that you really need to do is to go to the YouTube Quilt TV channel on YouTube yes. and, and look for that video because we give you some good hints on the parking lots that you can use right. and they haven't been full downtown. Right, so it's like a secret. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And so now Not we're, gonna have, we're gonna have a lot of people downtown, that's but we good. really want them to park as close as they can. Yes, and some people assume that that's all taken up so they, they just park a little well, ways out. And that's convenient too. It is. That's right. And, so and there is some, some handicap spots. parking on the grounds there at the convention center, but of course I can tell you, if we made the whole parking lot handicapped, it wouldn't be enough. True. Uh, and so you really need to know where the other options are, even if you need a handicapped parking space. Right. And uh, we are just getting ready. I just got the approval this morning on the shuttle routes. Oh, wonderful. And so these are the shuttles right. that go back and forth to the hotels. Our park and ride this year is at Kentucky Oaks Mall. So when you get off the interstate, you just go in right there at the section by Penny's on that end of the parking lot. And, and that bus will run nine show hours every day, nine to six That's and then nine to four right. on Saturday. Right. So there they can park there and if you want to go do some shopping, then you're A right. lot of good eating around there too. A lot of, oh, a lot of restaurants and yes. some brand new ones too yes. that people haven't even seen. Right. And in fact, we talk about those on our video too. So oh. they'll know what those new ones are. Um, but then I also want to talk about the flights into Paducah and transportation from the airport. Um, they have changed the timing of our flights into Paducah. We have been having the afternoon flight come in at 4 and then leave again at 4.30. They've just changed those times to where the afternoon flight comes in at 6 p.m. and leaves at 6.37. Oh, nice. So if you're flying in, be sure to check your uh, particular flight to make sure that you're, oh, you know, exactly know. what time. The other thing is getting from the airport down to the convention center or to your hotel. And that is, uh, we have the Blue Dot Taxi Service, we have PATS system, that's the Paducah Area Transit System, ah. and we also have Lyft now here in Paducah, and they are all requesting that you make a 24-hour in advance registra reservation mm -hmm. to make sure that they are, are able to come get you um, sometimes it's really hard for you to get to the airport and then just call them right. because they're already doing some other runs. Yes. Right. So make those reservations if you're going to be uh, flying into the airport and need that transportation. That'd be helpful. Good idea. Well, and then of course, you know, the best part of the show is always the quilts. Oh, we have yes. Ian Barry will have the whole first floor section that we use for quilts. He's going to set up four different galleries of some wow. of his work. Wow! I cannot wait to see them. In That's person. going to be just outstanding. And uh, Ricky Timms is our featured oh, instructor. Yes. His quilts will be hanging over at the pavilion, as will the Cherry Woods Van oh. Gogh Challenge. Oh. And oh my, you don't want to miss that. No, I can't wait so to see stunning. that. That's going to be fun. Um, and then we have quilts from Korea. The Korean quilts now will be hanging at the School of Art. And there's a free transportation, a shuttle bus from the Expo Center that goes to the pavilion. And then one of those buses goes on over to the school. So it's, it's easy to get around. Nobody has to worry about being able to get there. Park your car. Park your car. Park your car. Get over there and, and we'll take you from there. That's right. That's <laughs> right. So uh, we also have some quilts from uh, the contemporary artists from the U.S. and Brazil. And those are on the second floor of the convention center. Oh, wow. So when you nice. come to the show, make sure that you go to the expo center. That's where the large quilts and the best of show will be. Mm -hmm. Second floor is the wall quilts and these special exhibits and some vendors. So j there are hundreds right there, just in those two categories oh, that yes. you mentioned. Oh, yeah. oh yes. We have about 700 quilts that we'll have on display here at wow. the show. And then, of course, at the pavilion, we have vendors over there and then of uh, those special exhibits. So you don't want to miss any of that. No, not a minute. So, well. That's all we have. That's all we have for today. We'll see you back here next week, same time, same station, 11 o'clock on Wednesday morning, Central Time, 
and we can't wait to see you again.